Yours truly, your favorite disabled DJ, um, Infantry. Welcome to the Friday Night Live Stream, everybody. Uh, this live stream is sponsored by Silver Connections Group. Don't forget, guys, if you're looking to get your website built like I did, check us out at infantryoutdoors.com. Also, uh, if you want to get your Google ranking for your business boosted or just to get better social standings, well, let my friends at Silver Connections Group take care of that for you. Check the information down below. They're in every one of our videos. And like I said, if you want to check out their work, go to infantryoutdoors.com and check it out today. Be sure to check out the new website. And uh, don't forget to get yourself some of the Infantry Outdoors merchandise that we got coming out. Um, now that Amazon is open, I can submit for the new T-shirt, the tell your mom i want to see your shirt coming soon guys we're going to have that for you but welcome 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 happy friday to everybody as you guys can tell tonight's topic from the title is how to get outdoors now how do we get outdoors? we're going to talk about that tonight there's a lot of different meanings to that phrase how to get outdoors now i know a lot of you guys in the chat that are blowing up i'm going to say hi to you guys in just a moment i got the cold one right here um but what i want to do is brush a little bit on that topic how to get out outdoorsmen many of us are youtubers but there are a lot of us that aren't and there are a lot of folks out there that might want to do the outdoors but don't know how so tonight we're going to talk about that we're going to give you some tips some tricks some pointers and just some motivation to try to get you to get outdoors whether it's hunting hiking camping biking walking uh marching there's so much to do in the outdoors that the possibilities are endless so tonight our topic for all of you guys in the chat. I see the chat. Pop, 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 pop. The producer's putting the kids to bed, so I have to go back and read these. Be patient because i I got to take a sip for everybody. and You guys know that. But I do want to get tonight's topic out there. So all of you in the chat, everybody watching, and everybody in the replay, tonight's topic will be how to get outdoors. Okay, right on track. Hi, everybody. Okay, well, we got to go, like, way back to the beginning. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm at the beginning. Oh, you're at the VA beginning? The ambassador says hello. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna do, we're going to do a group drink on this one because we got Rattle Trap. We got VA Basser, Scarecrow. That's three. Mo Homesteading. Mo is in the building. What's up, Mo? Fossil Creek. Kills. Fossil Creek. What's happening? Happy Friday. Shiner Guy Raid. Oh, nice. Shiner Guy Raid. Albertan. Sweet. Jeremy, how you doing, bud? Let me look for you guys. Okay, I see more popping up. I see more Shiner popping guy. up. Shiner guy, brother. Shiner raid. Thank you, brother. Hey, listen, for everybody raiding, welcome to Infantry Outdoors live stream. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm DJ Infantry. And uh, tonight's topic for our live stream, Rob and everybody, is going to be how to get outdoors. So tonight we're going to talk about how to get outdoors, which has a very broad meaning for many people and a very broad amount of things you can do so we're going to discuss that and uh first of all for everybody in the chat and for the shiner raid happy friday to you guys god bless each and every one of you thank you for coming in thank you for supporting i hope that you and your families are doing great i hope that you're all safe and healthy and i hope you have an awesome awesome weekend cheers to everybody shiner raid uh, no thank you leave it the way i have it i would appreciate it Oh, there's a glare. You got to turn it down. That's what I was doing. Oh, That's here, what I was that. trying to do. Give me that. Well, I don't see that glare here. I, you guys got a different view than I do. Uh, I was just trying to get Davis. How's that? Is that glare better? Um, I'm, I'll tell you in a second when you get back. All right. Well, I got all kinds of stuff popping up. Okay, Infantry, how I rang your bell on the channel. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Who was that? Fossil Creek. Fossil Creek. We're going to do get VA Basser. What's up, my brother? How you doing? Um, laugh out loud fact. Yeah, just go outside. Great stream tonight at the Shiner Guy. I'm sorry I missed it, fam. Getting stuff done. Um, if you guys seen any, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen all the food I got today. Shiner Guy said, thank you, and not a clue fishing. You never know what will happen when my wife is drinking, and she drinks a lot. Oh, Granny <laughs> Granny went off the chain tonight, huh, Rob? Granny Shiner. All right, so let's get things rolling. Everybody that came in, who was the other one that came in? Look, I'm just going to do another drink for everybody because everybody done raised. Not a clue fishing. Not a clue fishing. Happy Friday, guys. Love you much. God bless you and your families. Right, Cheers. I'll be back. I'll be back. Call me Logan. All right, so. How to get outdoors. Let's talk about that, guys. Guys and gals and anyone in the chat. 
Um, first of all, find something that you want to do outside. So let's start with uh, everybody in the chat. What are some activities that you can do outdoors? Now keep in mind, not everybody is capable like you or has the abilities like you. So tell me, family, what are you guys outdoor activities? And list them one by one because I want to talk about them. Bird okay? Watching. Bird watching. Who said VA that? Bassett. VA Bassett. That's a good one. Bird watching. All right, and everybody park a minute now. We're going to do bird watching. Judith Davis is awesome. You're from China. Judith Davis, yeah, happy I Friday. Appreciate you. All right, so bird watching. Now, for a blind guy like me, bird watching kind of difficult. You can imagine. But what if we use binos or binoculars? Or in my case, I even have things called omnoculars, meaning one. Oh, I only got one eye. Hello, I see you. Ha. Um, but yeah, no, I have, they're, they're kind of like single binoculars. Now, the big issue that I would have would basically be, I would have to sit there and, and scan and scan and scan until I found a bird or have somebody with me, which is what I usually do to say, Hey, there's a bird over there on a tree right there at nine o'clock and I'll be able to zone in it. Right. It's trapping my brother coyote. How you doing, man? How's the week been on the trap line? Drink to you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah. So, for me, bird watching is, is I like to do it. Now, here in my yard, we have cardinals. We have blue jays. We have hummingbirds. We have, help me out here, producer. Hawks. Hawks. Owls. Oh, yeah, the owls. The owls up here actually... Ooh, 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 ooh. But not like that. They're big, big freaking barn owls, I think. Holy cow. Y'all got to slow up on the chat. The producer's not here right now. Um, hey, Red's trapping. Howdy, okay. Bum, bum, bum. Tactical text in the building. Bird watching also includes bird listening and identifying. Good point, brother. Good point. And see, that's what I want from you guys tonight. I want the chat to help me out with the topics, okay? So this way we don't bounce around and go all over the place. I've had a few comments that I want. we need to kind of structure, even though Friday night is this. And I told flat out, Friday night is, is, is Friday night. Um, we do we're going to structure a little bit better here. So, on the topic of bird watching. So, what would you need to go bird watching? What do you guys need to go bird watching? I know I need something to see the bird. As crazy as that sounds, as funny as that might be. But truth is truth. I need help to see the bird. What else do you need? What do you normal people with normal eyes need? Let's see. Let me go back up, back up, because y'all are going quick here now. Blue Jays. Blue Jays, Doves. You, C.P. Graham. What's up, C.P. Graham? Doves. Uh, we're doing great. I have baby cardinals. We got baby cardinals. Hey, they're right strapping. Uh, I have a live wild baby cardinal in my live stream Tuesday. That's awesome. That's awesome. We got cardinals up here. A bird. You yeah, obviously got to have a bird. We have an auditable book to help identify. Okay, yeah. A book to identify the birds. A 12-gauge shotgun. Yep, that works sometimes during season. Fossil Creek. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on, guys. Be easy on me. I can't keep up. Binos, a bird book, pen, and a notebook. I like that. I like that tactical tech. Uh, what's good? What's going on, brother? Da, 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 da. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, you can't say 12-gauge shotgun on YouTube. So, pew, pew. Ha, ha, ha. You're caught up. You're good. Okay, I'm caught up. All right, so bird watching. Great topic of discussion for tonight. Great things. You need a pen, binos. Uh, bird identifying book, excuse me, even a great pair of ears to just sit and listen. Nice. Okay, so that's one outdoor activity. What tactical tech said? Yeah, okay, he pretty yeah. Mike pretty much covered it all. Back tactical tech pretty much. Camping, hiking, fishing. Okay, so who wants to put up the next topic? Somebody in back of the we're, But we're not going to go that far back. We're gonna we're gonna try to stay active. We're camping, hiking, fishing. So, somebody drop one. Let me see what else you guys got. Bird watching. We got that. 
I got plenty of fishermen in this place, so we don't, we'll do fishing later. You guys know we talk about fishing every week. Kaya says, I go duck watching with the duck call and a 12 gauge. Yeah. Can't, hey, hey, you can't oh, say that. Pew, pew. You can't say that. A 12 pew pew. Yeah, uh, 12, 12 foot pew pew. <laughs> Taxes, bushcraft. Sex. Yeah, look at you, Fossil Creek. That that's just natural bushcraft. There you go. But we're not talking about Scarecrow's see that kind of goes in a bad order. Sex and bushcraft. If you think about it, the two go hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good one. Um, Judith, okay, Davis so is trapping. okay, we'll do bushcraft for right now, and the next one will be trapping. So everybody remember trapping. Let's talk about bushcraft. <laughs> if you were a person, CP says, let's talk craft about liberals. If you were a person that wanted to start bushcraft, give it to me, family. What would you need or how would you get into bushcraft? After five outdoors is in the building. After five outdoors, Camping cheers. Camping minus 20 degrees, laugh out loud. Please read the comments after I finish what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, let me hear what you guys got to say in reference to bushcraft. So this, again, bushcraft is a pretty wide range. But if I never did it, what would you guys suggest on how to get into bushcraft? Now, first thing I would suggest is, you know, a book. So that right there would give you an idea of where to start, where, what would you want to start doing? Because, again, bushcraft is a big thing. So come on, peoples, highlight what you got for bushcraft. What are we talking about in bushcraft? I know some of you know some of it. I know some of you are just fishermen, <laughs> but uh, no, I didn't. Boondocking. Uh, boondocking. That's RVing, isn't it? Judah says simple, reliable gear and a good knife. I always talk about pew pews on YouTube. What's the change now? It's, it's not a change. Well, I don't know, okay? But what I'm going to tell you, if all of the big channels that that's all they do. No longer use any of the words and their pew pews. Now, if they take pew pews away, I don't know what we're going to be able to say. But I don't know. I just I'm tired of of being afraid of YouTube. And I mean that's a whole other topic. I don't want to change off topic. But for tonight, put pew pews. If everybody doesn't mind, do not put those words in the chat. Like that you know. Um, if it does happen, I would love to be monetized at one point, so I don't want to get any, you know, problems down the road. So, if the big guys do it, I'm going to kind of do it, too. I just CP don't want to get in trouble. I like crafting stuff from bushes. After Five says, good hatching and skinning knife. Good, okay. Mike says, a good sharp knife. Yep, good sharp knife. Scarecrow says, a good camera. All right, great. And CP says, I love a good boomstick. Boomstick. There you go. A smoke pole, maybe. A boomstick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we just throw at a high velocity. No, I think he's referring to... I know to it is referring to a boomstick. That's a... And a smoke pole. <laughs> and a smoke pole, yeah. Sending smoke out pole, smoke signals. <laughs> One puff at a time. So, yeah. So, bushcraft. Now, here's something else you might want to think of, too, if you're going to get into bushcraft, is... Um, you're going to want to learn to how to make twine. You're going to want to learn to make, uh, you know, fire starting materials. Start Basically, bushcraft is look around you and take nothing and create something. Um, take some sticks and make a chair. Take a log and make a coffee table. Um, rub two sticks together and make fire. So many things in the bushcraft genre. So, basically... My advice on getting outdoors in the bushcraft would be find an area you want to start in, whether it's making furniture, whether it's building a survival shelter, um, whatever that might be. Pick one area and start there. Have your book, have your knife, have your camera, and give it a try. Okay, so Judith has come up with a perfect name for Pew Pew. Pew Pew. It's the acute lead poison dispenser. There you go. I don't know for a lot. Well, yeah, no, we could do that because... Lead is lead. lead it's is lead. an acute lead poison. Le acute lead I poison. I love that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a high, re uh, what do you call it? A high velocity Pez dispenser. <laughs> Flint and striker and a compass, says Mike. 
Mike, you get the door prize tonight. Flint and a striker. I haven't heard nobody say that yet. Flint and a striker is a must pretty much anywhere you go outdoors, whether you're fishing, uh, whatever. That's one of the greatest things because whatever outdoor activity you're doing, if you get stuck, being able to make fire not only saves your life, but you can also signal for help with it. You can also uh, make food with it. There's so many uses. So to have a flint and steel and know how to make a fire in any circumstance, even if you're on a bass boat, great idea to have. So, yeah, good job, Mike. All right, so anybody got anything else in the bushcraft area? I have to, like, move my comments because I think they stopped coming up all together. Yeah, there they go. Boop. Flint and knife. Yep. Oh, and a compass, too. And if you guys don't know how to use a compass, go check out my video on how to use a compass. I have a video. Check it out. I can't put it in the card here because we're live. But if you go to the channel, you can check it out. And don't forget to check out, guys, infantryoutdoors.com. Um, new stuff's going up every week. We're going to be having a P.O. box starting next week, I think. Yeah, next week we're going to have a yeah, P.O. box. Like um, and what else, what else, what else? If you guys do want to help and donate to the channel, PayPal is the best way to do it. Go to paypal.me forward slash infantry outdoors. Anything that you guys send to the program goes straight into the program. It does not go into my household. It does not go into my family. It goes into this program because, trust me, it costs money to make YouTube videos. If somebody told you that, it told you different, they lie. So if you want to donate to this show, you love what we're doing, and you want to help us out, infantry, uh, paypal.me forward slash infantry outdoors. It's linked down there in the below in the description, so y'all can click that. Or become a Patreon. That's another way. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash infantry outdoors. So those are the two ways you can help generate, gyrate, and motivate the program. Or one of the best ways is shop using Amazon because we are Amazon affiliates. So if you use our links down below, even if you don't buy the product, whatever you buy in that 24-hour period, we get a very, 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 very small kickback from Amazon. Or check out the t-shirts, the merch. I don't call it a kickback. I like finder's fee better. Yeah, well, it's a kickback. It's a finder's fee. It's We get a penny on the dollar, <laughs> pretty much. I mean... <laughs> my wife has been like why are we still doing this i'm mean, because eventually it might do something but yeah like five bucks here three dollars here a dollar there over time it adds up so sure. click those links down below people and help us out shop it doesn't cost you anything amazon pays us not you so click those links down below and help out the program or grab some merch and really show off Rangy. you know that's me Ranger beads. It's funny. It's, oh, my wife said that. Now, it's funny Ranger beads came out because I actually want to make some Infantry Outdoors Ranger beads and uh, put them up on the website for sale. Thunder Ridge TV so. says, hey, man. What's up, Thunder Ridge? Happy Friday. Hope you and your family are doing great. Hope you're having a blessed Friday night. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for supporting. Cheers. Yeah, there's some Ranger beads. Going on. All right, so. Scarecrow says, there's no links down below. We mean You're alive. <laughs> no, but there are. If you look in the description, there's links. There's a description for this video. I think, even though I'm live, tell me if I'm wrong, guys, because I don't know. So help me out. Down here, where the title is, there should be a little down arrow. If you push the down arrow, bloop, all of my description pops up. I don't up. think so. I don't know how it works. Yeah. 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 See? My wife's doing it. Yeah, everything's there. Yeah, everything's there. There are no links down below. Yes, there are. I'm telling you. No, that's what he said. Oh, I'm just now getting it. My bad. That was the greatest greeting ever. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we do that every Friday night. Whenever you come in, everybody in the chat will back me up on this. Whenever you guys come in, every single person, I give a thank you, a cheers, and an enjoy the <laughs> weekend. So thank you for being here, brother. I really appreciate it. No, I'm missing all of this. Y'all got to go yeah, slow here. I a card after the stream has ended up, it ended in post. So just go to the YouTube studio dashboard and edit and add a card. Yeah, but that's Dude, afterwards. Links are there. I'm too lazy. Yeah, right, links are guys, definitely there. Links, links, and more links. Links, links, and more links. Yeah, I'm telling you. Brian there's says, links. There's links. Uh, Thunder Ridge says, I sub. Thank you, brother. appreciate you, man. I really do. That Shiner guy. Howdy, howdy. Everybody Everyone's saying howdy. Saying hi now. So... Now, the thing of it is, I'm going to have to start getting more beer on a Friday night because more and more people are joining the chat. So, we pretty much covered bushcraft. So, we've done bushcraft. Now, we're going to move on to, what was the next one? Who remembers? Not camping, right? No, it wasn't camping. Let's see who's going to remember. It was bushcraft, and then I said something else. 
I bet you nobody remembers. They're all going to scroll up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to click on the show more. Yeah, man, we're here every Friday night. I'm telling you. Every Friday from trapping. There trapping. you go. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do. Good job, Mike. Good job, Mike. See, Mike scrolled up faster than the rest of us. Uh, have you ever been bear hunting? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. That is in the works for either this year or 2021. But, yeah, infantry going to get me my bear. Yeah, I moved 360 some odd miles so I can get me a bear. And, or, something and, or something or deer or pig for god's sake you know <laughs> but up here from what i understand they have programs available to take disabled people like me they have days where they'll take us out hunting and uh i have a lot of i have friends that have a lot of friends up here that have offered to take me hunting too so it's coming i'm gonna get my bear scarecrow's a bar 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 i have you ever all right bar Fire! Ah! Yeah, Mike says no stolen, just good memory. <laughs> All right, so trapping, trapping, trapping. Here's the thing. I know squat about trapping. This is something I've actually spoken to Coyote about. I've also talked to Trapper J about. Uh, I don't know if you guys know who Trapper J is. If you don't know Trapper J, go check him out. He's an awesome, awesome YouTuber. Um, I talked to Trapper J. He's going to kind of help and guide me, but Coyote, can you tell us... Basically, here you go, Kyle. I don't know squat about trapping. Tell me the nobody knows nothing. What would I need to start trapping? What would I need to get into the world of trapping? And if any of you trap, feel free to comment as well. But if you don't trap, please don't comment. Please, I mean, don't just guess. I really want to know because guess what? I'm going to start trapping. I don't so know if we can in Florida. Trapper Jay is a badass. Trapper J is the man, dude, and I have a lot of props to that man and a lot of respect because he takes the time to talk to me. Um, he understands that I'm disabled. He knows where I am in, in the country. So big up Trapper J, dude, and thank you for all the times that we, we, we got to chat. I really, you know, it's important. It really is, especially guys like that, you know. Trapper J is out with allegedly fishing. What, right now? That's what Mike says. Oh. CP says you need property to trap on. Okay, but you can't, why? You can't, are you not allowed to trap on public land? Or management areas? Or you national parks? Trap. You need I wire. don't know, but... Mike you, says you, you need wire. Wire, okay. Thunder says I'm not self-promoting, but I have a video of my dogs with a bear treat if you'd like to check it out. Faux show, sure. if y'all want to... I'll tell you what. Um, one of the mods dropped that link. Thunder for Thunder Ridge's thing, uh, video, if you could, for me, please. Uh, Rob says they were both fishing earlier. You yeah, know, he's... He might have been out live doing it, live streaming. He is the man, dude. Like, I have a lot of respect for Trapper J. I really do. And again, a lot of it has to do with, you know, when you become a big YouTuber, you don't have to talk to anybody. When you're at our level, you don't have to talk to nobody. You know, to take the time and discuss trapping with me it really is like okay well i'm nobody you're somebody and everybody knows you're a badass um you can kind of relate to that guys i mean if there's a big youtuber that you end up just chit chatting with and the next thing you know he's teaching you how to trap and telling you what areas to go to and you in my region it's pretty cool that would be like andrew flair calling me on the phone you know but you know, that's just how I look at it. <laughs> he says, public land, yes, you can trap on it, but your traps might end up getting sold. Okay, does that apply to every state in the U.S.? Or, because I'm in Florida. Um, I don't know anything. And I'm waiting on where the hell is Coyote to start telling me some stuff here. Thunder Did he Ridge leave? Says, this is one of the best lives ever, no joke. You, thank you very much. Scarecrow says, foxes are eating my chickens. Make sure that y'all give it a big thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And share it out because we do this every Friday from 10 o'clock until. All right? I stop when I feel like it or when we're, we're done talking. I'm done Scarecrow talking. Scarecrow says, foxes are eating my chickens. Oh, that's not good. Thunder says, you've got a new fan for sure. Appreciate you, brother. Really do. Really do. Um, Judith says... Uh, Duke one, three quarter coil spring trap, sifter, bait, lure pan, cover, stakes, gloves, hammer, and digging tool. Holy crap, dude. 
Like, that's a lot of stuff. That's what you need just to get started? Rob. Rob Parker's Fishing Road. Hey, how's it going tonight, man? Rob Parker's Fishing... Hold on. We got to get a fresh beer for Rob Parker. Everybody yeah. done killed it already. You were right, man. They're going to come in and drain my beer. I was trying to be good tonight. Hold on, Rob Parker. Hold on, buddy. We got to greet you the proper way we do on a Friday night, all right? Got to swap this one out for a freshie. Um, Rattle Trap Fishing Raid. Sweet! All right, here we go. You might have to read up on your local laws. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's a, that's a given. After five says, trapping is complicated. Mike says, wire for the snare traps, but you can also buy traps. You need to learn patterns of each animal you plan to trap. All right, well, hold on, everybody. Take a pause for a sec. Rob Parker, thank you for coming in, brother. Happy Friday. May God richly bless you and your family. We really appreciate your support, and I hope at this time in the crazy world that you and your family are healthy and safe. Happy Friday, brother. He says, thank you, bro. Cheers. Rattle Trap All says, right. I sent you a few people in, but they never said Rattle Trap raids. So just letting you know, infantry. No, hey, Rattle Trap, brother. <laughs> I appreciate you, dude. I mean, everybody, you should be putting hashtag Rattle Trap raid or something. I don't know how that works, but I guess <laughs> they get credit for it. Um, Rob Parker's Fishing World, I have some beers as well. I out. Nice. Cheers, brother. We're going to do it again on a Friday night. Cheers to Rob Parker. Judas says a couple of dog proofs and a wire and cat food. Yeah, no, that's for like squirrel, not squirrel, uh, raccoon. Rabbit. Rabbit. Right? That's for like raccoon because I see Andrew Flair getting them raccoons like crazy. So, oh, and by the way, for those just entering the room, welcome to Infantry Thunder Outdoors says, live stream. We do this every Friday night from 10 o'clock until I'm DJ Infantry, the host of Infantry Outdoors. Um, tonight's topic of our live stream is how to get outdoors. We have been touching upon different topics through the night, different areas of outdoors, and letting you guys speak about your expertise to be able to tell the folks at home how they can get outdoors and try a new activity. So we've talked about trapping, which we're on right now. Before that, we talked about bushcraft. And before that, we talked about, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Um, the hell were we talking about? What was the first topic? I don't remember. Well, <laughs> I mean, come on, people. We're 30 minutes in. You expect me to remember everything? Bushcraft. No, we did bushcraft. We did. We're on trapping. And then before that was bird watching. Bird watching. Thank you. 10 points to the producer. All right. So we've talked about three topics and we're currently talking about trapping. So that big laundry list, is that really what I need to do to start trapping? I mean, and do I have to get. I'll put up uh, Thunder's link. All right, awesome. So, guys, check out Thunder's link. Rob put it up there. Shiner guy put it up. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you, bud. Um, Scared Chris says you might want to watch a video about it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you got it, Scarecrow. I'm telling you. This guy. Rob's. you got, Hey, this guy. Y'all ever seen the wife's closet that he built? Yeah. Okay. When y'all see the wife's closet, you're going to know more about Scarecrow. He's a Jim great. Damon he's a very good carpenter, I'll tell you, by the way. That will get you started and let your fur check. Buy more gear. Water driver Dave. Yes, he did. I saw that video. And I've actually spoken to Trapper J himself on it. Um, however, Trapper J is not in here tonight. Uh, unfortunately, I wish he could be. But he's not here. So <laughs> what I'm doing here is for a replay or for anything else or for anybody in the chat like me that's, you know... Uh, Trapper, trapping, trapping, trapping for dummies is basically what we're discussing right now. Trapping for dummies, because I'm a dummy. So, what do you guys put up here? What do you guys say? Now, there was a laundry list. That was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of stuff. But, is trapping one of those things where you have to get certain traps for certain things? For example, is a raccoon trap different than a coyote trap? Is a coyote trap different than a tourist trap? Is a tourist trap different than... You know, you see what I'm getting at? Like, do I need to buy different traps for different animals? There's neck holds or nooses. There's footholds, like you were brought up here before. There's also the, whoosh, the bear traps that snap your leg in half. Mike says maybe we should start with the less skilled outdoor activity. Yeah, and now, I mean, but people might want to try it. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Trapping seems like it's going to be an episode by itself. So we're going to get into that. We'll get into that. Let's move on to... The next outdoor activity camping. that you guys can come up with. How about camping? 
Let's move to camping. One of Three my minutes, favorite camping. topics in the world. Perfect. Because there is so many types of camping. There's primitive camping. There's truck or car camping. There's glamping. There's RVs that are your freaking house on wheels. It's not even considered camping. So let's rule out everything past RV. You know, once you get into an RV, you're done. That's just being lazy. You're done. You're done. You're done. You can glamp. I will allow glamping, okay, because people got to have things. But that's as far as we're going to go. So if I am, well, here we go. Let's open the book of camping for dummies. I'm the dummy. Hi, everybody. What do I need to go camping? What do my viewers need to go camping? Um, do I need any special stuff? Or can I just go out there and do it? Do they supply the stuff for me? What do we need to go camping? May sound stupid, but there are people watching that don't know. There are people that will be watching that don't know. So what do we need to go camping, family? CP says, I love me a tent and a sleeping bag. Yes, sir. That's the way I've always done it. Um... Oh, I almost said it another way, but I don't want to spill the beans. I'm going to wait for somebody else to come up. <laughs> the the says five-gallon bucket. Five-gallon bucket. Hey, let me tell you something. I've done many of Boy Scout trips with a five-gallon bucket. That's all we could bring. You put your stuff in five-gallon bucket, and that's it. Them, that, them damn things not only are waterproof, but they float, and you can hold on to it and float down the river. If your canoe flips over or your kayak, great pointer. CP says primitive, please. Primitive. Okay, how far do you want to go primitive? Now we're going in either into bushcraft, where you have to make your shelter, excuse me, or are you going primitive another way? What do you consider? Says, I know what the bucket's for, laugh out loud. Judas says $5 or $30 pup tent, a tarp, and a bedroll. Mike says, Judas I have, got it I have right to there. have an air mattress, yes. I'm okay, right there. we need an air mattress, yep. Scarecrow Again, says, I said I will allow air glamping. Air. I will allow glamping, so. Pack Mike says, tent number one. Okay, so we need a tent. We need a sleeping bag. Bedroll was another good one. So we got a bedroll. Air mattress. Air mattress. So we got four. What else do we need? Fire starter. Fire, well, fire starter is with every single topic that we, we're going to talk about today. You, you we're going to include fire starter. Fire starter of some kind. Coffee pot. Coffee pot for the glampers. <laughs> if you're not a glamper... You don't need a coffee pot. You get the insta little packets mm -hmm. and you pour it in there and you boil the water and pff, Bob Jones. Bastard says battery fan, CP says flashlight. Okay, battery fan, flashlight, headlamp. headlamp. Okay. That's me. Uh, depending if you live in Florida or you don't, mosquitoes. So we're going to want something to get rid of them mozzies. Whether it be a mozzie net or some spray or my favorite thing, which is linked down below, thermocell. I swear by it, dude. I swear by the thermocell. Link down below. Check it out. If you don't know about thermocell, you better get on a thermocell game because, brother, it works. Thunder Ridge says lighter for firewood, maybe some hot dogs. Hot dog. What about the s'mores? Dude, you, we're going to go into food. Cord and a knife. Okay. CP says hooks and fishing line. Sweet. Hooks and fishing line. Yep. Yep. That's if you're going to catch and cook your food. That would be, you know, a good camp out. Um,. What about, let's see, what happens if something happens to you guys out there? First aid kit. Camping cook, camping That's cook a buried set. thing. Camping cook set, right. Right, um, says, oh, there's right. There's Brother Coyote. Where were you at when we were talking about trapping, awesome. Coyote? Ah, man, says, we had a whole topic based upon you and you disappeared. A tarp for a tennis <laughs> ring, CP says med kit. Med kit, yep. <laughs> First aid kit's a must. Okay, I'm right with Scarecrow. Beer. Beer, yeah. Or and alcohol rum. of rum. some kind. Now, mm. alcohol, meaning liquor, serves a better purpose than beer because it's a multi-purpose level type of thing. Yeah, number exactly. one, you have something, obviously, to drink if it's cold outside. Number two, to warm you up inside, which, by the way, doesn't really work because alcohol thins out your blood and makes you colder. So all that crap you've heard about Getting drunk in the snow? No, don't do that. Anyway, so there you, go. you can get warm. Number three, you can start a fire with some of the stuff if you get the good stuff. And number four, you can disinfect a wound should something happen to you. Antiseptic. So, sir, Ray says time. wife called me. Sorry. Ah, brother, right? We had a whole entire segment for you, and wife, she called you at the wrong time. But we'll go back. To but that. we're gonna have a whole topic. We're gonna bring up trapping, maybe on next week's video. Because remember, at the end of tonight's video, or live stream, I keep saying video, I apologize. At the end of tonight's live stream, guys, we're going to group pick 
next week's topic. This way everybody here can do homework. You can show back up here on Friday night, have a Coke and a smile, and chit-chat different topics with friends mm -hmm. and learn something. Now, uh, camping, camping, camping. So we've got a lot of good stuff, okay? Moonshine. Moonshine, yeah, I, I could teach you about Mike that. Mike says vodka is best. No, vodka is not best, no. For antiseptic and No, fire vodka is not best. No, no, no. You get you some of that moonshine, some of that 160, 170 proof. Yeah, no, that'll drive you drive your damn car on it. You'll kill the coronavirus, all right, with that. <laughs> Trust me. I know firsthand, family. I've I made quite a few gallons of that stuff in my day. And um, let me tell you, hey, you got a boo-boo. You pour some of that go-go juice on there, you ain't got no boo-boo no more. Yeah, it's, yeah, you're healed. It's Jesus water. Poof. <laughs> Dr. Rich TV is crying. Uh, he's crying so crying is laughing so hard. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time, and that's what this is all about: having a good time, learning, and teaching others the wonderful things about the outdoors. Steve, says moonshine will clean the moon and get you drunk. Yeah, absolutely. Whew. But um, so yeah, so we obviously you got the alcohol. Um, what else do we need to go camping, glamping, whatever? Airport. Whatever paracord, also known as uh, 550 cord. Make sure that you get 550 paracord. Don't buy the cheap stuff because it doesn't work. Doesn't hold 550 pounds like it's supposed to. So buy, <laughs> we should do a test on that. Cheap versus expensive 550 cord, and see which one holds. We all think. Yeah, man, it just sparked the whole YouTube phase across like the flex seal. Toilet crack. paper. Yeah, you too. Well, you don't have to have toilet paper in the woods. Okay, but you it's... just don't wipe with the wrong leaf. Yeah, just don't wipe, wipe with the wrong leaf. Pick the soft leaves. Um, here in don't Florida... Don't pick the three Hey, leaves. let me tell you something. Here in Florida, <laughs> banana leaves are great because they're so big, you can, like, rip a piece, wipe, rip a piece, wipe. The banana leaves are like... Seriously, they get like this in Florida. If any of my Florida peoples can vouch for me, let them know about banana trees and elephant ears and don't use palm fronds. They tend to hurt a little bit. The <laughs> ambassador says water. Water, what, what, but well, yeah, you could either bring water or, or life straw or boil your water. Big bubbles, no troubles. Remember that big bubbles, no troubles. Um, you can boil your water. You can, if where you're going is a glamping site, you don't really have to bring water because there's going to be faucets and facilities. So depending on where you're camping, glamping will determine on obviously what you're going to bring. All right, Mike's got his list. Oh, Mike went shopping. Backpack, Let me hear it. Compass, map, okay. Okay. Waterproof containers. Gotcha. Rain gear. Yep. Map again. Map again. <laughs> Change of clothes and shoes. Change of clothes and shoes. All right. So hopefully you guys can hear the producer in the background, so I don't have to read all that stuff again. Um, but yes, Mike's pretty much got it. Um, so basically, if you're going camping or glamping, here's the difference, folks. Glamping is bringing a bunch of crap you really don't need. Camping is going out in the woods with the bare necessities, meaning shelter, fire, water, food. If you have shelter, fire, water, food, you will always survive no matter what. And those are the top four things. Back me up, military family. Shelter, fire, water, food. You got to have them. Number one, number two, number three, number four. You can't have one without two, three, and four. So... Judith says, paracord for use, Walmart paracord for key, for keychains. I thought loud. CP says, pew pew. Yep. Well, depending Thunder on what says, you're doing. You can hear me loud and clear. Okay. The A Bastard says, camped on the Shenandoah last week and it was great. Sweet. Awesome. Hey, we just and found out we can. Your guys is cool. We just found out we could camp in, in the forest for Osceola free. Osceola National Forest. So, we, uh,. Thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing uh, some solo overnighters. I got uh, some other stuff planned. That's going to be a lot of fun. So lots coming up just by the little move. i tell you that much. It wasn't a little move. No, well, it wasn't a little move. We're still unpacking, guys. Like, seriously. My mission here shortly is going to try to be have no cardboard in my house. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm just tired of looking at cardboard. He said it <laughs> sounds like you could just camp in your yard. Yes, no, yes. Really no I really can. can. I've got 20, the property that I'm on, we, uh, we have 20 acres that we share uh, with a one-acre pond. 
Which, by the way, guys, we went fishing in a pond. Yay! Rob, it needs help. Rob, it, it, it needs help. So far, I got one dink, smallmouth bass. And the kids and the wife probably got about 15 catfish, if they're not catching the same damn no, three catfish not. over and no. over and over again. No, but not. I have a funny feeling exclusion. that it's a catfish pond, is what I have the vibes about. Now, I've only fished this side of the pond. I have yet to put the yak out and go check out the, the other side. We can actually walk to the other side of the pond. Or we can walk to the other side. But the side that we're fishing is a pretty neat little cut, man. It's like a pond. Like, it comes around like this and then goes up to a point. That's where I always go fish. And it comes around again and there's another little, like, bay, I guess you could call it. Like a little pond, like a cut, like a pond here. And it goes out into a bigger thing. But, again, the one dink, I caught them on a whack, and the catfish, they've been catching on bread. Big catfish, mind you. Big catfish, guys. And the three-year-old, oh, he's soon going to be four next week, so I got to work on saying four. Little guy's going to be four next week, guys. Time's flying. Um, he brought in some big catfish for a little guy. They're probably almost half his size, which is impressive. So daddy's been very proud. The kids have been catching fish in the pond. But they've been catfish. Now, let me ask you guys a question. And don't answer dumb. Because I really want to know. Can you lip or do you lip catfish? Let's see who says it. Rob, holla at me, bro. Do you lip your catfish? You grab them like a bass? Hell no. Can you grab I wouldn't a catfish foot. like that? Do they have teeth? Mike says, I can camp in my yard. That's out loud. Thunder says yes. I Rob says yes. See, I am. See, I, no. my wife thought I, I was I flipping nuts when she caught damn the damn out. catfish. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now they have the ones we have us have the spines on them. The whiskers. The whiskers don't hurt you at all. There's no nothing to the whiskers. You can play with the whiskers. They don't do nothing to you. I thought the whiskers were what got No, you. the spine on the dorsal fin and the two spines on the pectoral fins, if they stab you, you're going to the hospital. And that. you're having a very bad day. Am I right, chat? Who's been hit by a catfish in their life? Drop it in the chat below. The wife has no idea. So Kyle says I'm old, so I get a camper. I don't catfish. I bass fish. Right. Well, well, well <laughs> it, it's a byproduct of fishing. He Comment says, below who's been zoots by the, the catfish. Who has been... Rob says just be careful with them. You can get hurt. Yes. And, and that's why... I have not. That's why we're bringing this up. Because catfish will put your ass in the hospital. Okay? They're nothing to mess with. Um, the difference between a catfish and a walking catfish... Let's see if anybody knows that before I answer it. Who knows the difference between a catfish and a walking catfish? Shiner caught a catfish. They said, or they have teeth like sandpaper. Yeah, it's just like a bass. Think about it. People stick their damn arm in catfish mouths. It, they I can't... said I never went to the hospital for it. No? But did you get stung? Rob says I caught a catfish when I was bass fishing yesterday. He hit the shiner as soon as it hit the water. Oh, yeah, catfish are neat, man. And they taste good when they're blackened and, and just done right. Uh, Mike says, yeah, yeah, you can live them, but be careful if you gill them. They have some very strong gill bones. Yeah, no, I, I don't put my hands in gills if Mike I can help it. says too many times. Okay, so, Kyle, you know what I'm talking about then. Like, you got to educate the people. So, who in the chat knows the difference between a catfish and a walking catfish. Uh, Judah says they can breathe air and cross dry land. Kurt, well, all catfish breathe air. They all come up and they all pop. Sierra Crow says no catfish where I live. Okay. So let's see if, if I'm going to give you all another second or so. What makes a walking catfish, other than they walk across land, which they don't walk, they sh -sh -sh, like a snake. They scurry. What is the difference? Brent said it hurt for a bit, though. Yeah, no, they're, they're nasty, dude. You don't ever want to get stung by a damn catfish. All right. Nobody's popped it up. The difference between a catfish and a walking catfish. A walking catfish does not have a spine, poison spine, on its dorsal fin, only on the two pectoral fins. So, a regular, brown, you know, like a channel cat, blue cats, all yeah, them, brown catfish. Oh, we have brown bullheads in the pond here. 
Um, they have all three. So you got it on the back. You got two suckers poking out. And yeah. Anybody eat bullhead? Brown bullhead? Anybody can tell me. Are they good to eat? Swamp donkey! There's the donkey! Alright, so here we go. It's going to be a donkey <laughs> kind of Friday. I'm walking eagle too full of beer to fly. Nice! <laughs> Cheers to my brother Swamp Donkey. Happy Friday to you, brother. I hope that you and your family are doing awesome. I hope you're happy, healthy, and safe, brother. Cheers. Uh, Mike says we have channel blue and flathead here. Okay, well... The the what what did we have? The bullhead. The brown bullhead. We have brown bullheads. Anybody eat those? Uh, Rob, you eat those? She says I ate yellow bullhead and won't do it again. Okay. Uh, bum, bum, Judith bum. says I have in clean, clear water. They aren't bad. Okay. What about palm water? They're probably gonna taste like mud, right? That's what I would think. I'm a big, can you imagine if you soak them in buttermilk? That I'm a big, take some of that away. I'm a big believer in where you catch what you eat to, is Shiner what it says, tastes like. says, I don't think they have bullheads. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I have to send him the picture. Yeah, Rob, I'll send you a picture tomorrow, and you can tell me what it is. That would be the easiest says, way. I, have, I like Channel Cat. I like the catfish you buy at the store, and then I just blacken the uh, hell out of Shiner it. Shiner says he doesn't think he has bullheads. Well, oh. still, we'll send him the picture. Yeah, I'll send you a picture tomorrow, Rob, and let you know. If you can cook it right, anything tastes good. Says Very Brian. true. Very true. Very true. Yeah, I'm not a person that doesn't try things. I'll try. I'm a my father. Growing up, we used to. I come from a German background, okay, um, which means there's some odd stuff that we used to eat. Dad would come up and go, "Here, try this." Oh, what is it? Shut up and eat it. Yeah. That that was it. Shut up and eat it. But what is it, Dad? I told you. Shut up and eat it. When you eat it, I'll tell you what it is. Judith says, trim off the bloodline. They aren't bad. I need somebody to come and do a catfish, teach infantry how to clean a catfish. <laughs> All right. There's actually a I'm buffering back. emoji. That's I awesome. am back. Rattle, try to put up a buffering. I got booted for talking about eating catfish. So, yeah. If any, I see on YouTube, don't none of y'all put infantry watching a YouTube video. No, somebody needs to come show me how to cook or how to clean a catfish. And, and I have seen it done where this cat pulled, he did something and he pulled everything out and all of the bones came out of the whole damn fish. And I have one bone, it did not have one bone in the catfish. So if any of y'all know how to do that, I just want to know how to clean it. <laughs> if you could teach me how to go and every bone comes out of that bastard, yeah, buddy. And we'll, believe me, we're going to make a YouTube video out of it. You can title it, Teaching a Blind Guy to Clean Catfish. Uh, where do you go? Shiner says, skin them first. Uh, Wright says, you should see Flair's video on getting a catfish from the store. No, I did. The Asian fucking, excuse my language, oops. Um, the Asian market fish that was disgusting. No, man, I would not buy a catfish from an Asian market. No, 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 no. I don't like Publix or, you know, a reputable place. I'm not buying catfish or any fish. Okay, I'm from South Florida. In South Florida, you have all of these people at the flea market trying to sell you damn cichlids. They're trying to sell you Oscars. They're trying to sell you all of the damn pain-in-the-butt fish that live down there that will eat anything. You drop bread in there. They clean out ponds. I, we caught this one dude with a giant fish basket we had to call WC. Invasive or not, you cannot clean out a pond Judith to go sell them at the fish market. That was, a, that was Spoonbill. They have no bones. The Spoonbill catfish? No, that was a, a blue cat. If I'm 99% sure the one from Flair's video was a blue cat. And it tasted bleh, Because right. they just did another video... Yesterday, the day before, where they caught a catfish, they caught a couple of them on the, the lines, the trout lines, and they cooked it up, and it, it was the, he said that he could not tell the blue cat from the channel cat because of the way they cooked it, and it tasted way better than the Asian market fish, which was disgusting. So I'm 99% sure it was a blue cat. If somebody wants to watch and correct me, hey. Right, said the fish was bad. Don't buy a fish if you catch fresh. Scarecrow says, how about some bat soup chicken 
of out of, of the cave. Out of the cave. What? Bat soup? I'll try it. I'll try anything once, dude. I'll have, um, listen. Mike says, I can show you when you come out here. All right. Let me kind of give you all the rundown. Oh, your Trapper boy. J just released a big spoon bill video. It was a blue cat, right, said. Yeah, it was a blue cat. I um, um, I knew that. Shiner says monster fillets, right, said. Doing okay, just post. Oh, no, all right, no, so no, no. let me break this down for you. Like I said, I come from a German background, okay? Um, my grandparents were uh, World War II flee, f what, refugee? I don't know what you want to call them. They hauled ass during the war because... During the war, you were forced to be a Nazi, and they didn't believe in that. So they fled to America. Um, so that gives you my grandma and grandpa's heritage and the way my father was raised. You what? use everything. Who gave a thumbs down? That sucks. You use everything. Why don't you go away with that? Well, you know what? I love you, whoever gave me a thumbs down. It doesn't bother me one bit. If you don't like the content, you have every right to hit the thumbs down. And it doesn't bother me because 20 years on the radio, hey, people are going to love you. People are going to hate you. But it's stimulation either way. Either way, guys, um, I have eaten in my life some crazy stuff. Um, I've had, in Germany, we have this stuff called Blutwurst, which is blood sausage. It's sausage literally cooked in blood. It is smells horrid. And the only way I've ever been able to eat it is mixed with scrambled eggs. I cannot eat it by itself. Mike says, okay, um, what's the next outdoor topic? One sec, Mike. Um, matter of fact, you guys can pop one up here. We left off on camping and glamping. So the next topic will be, while I'm, I'm spewing out my crap, you guys can drop a comment and tell us what the next topic is going to be. So I've had that. I've had fried grasshoppers, chocolate-covered ants, chilled monkey brains. I've had armadillo, Manage turtle water. soup. I've had goat head soup. I've had... Did I say chocolate covered ants? Mm -hmm. Chocolate covered ants. I've had gator. grub worms. I've had gator. I've had deer. I've had ostrich, rattlesnake. Um, pretty much if it walks, I've eaten it. If it lives, I've eaten it. And, you know, that's how I was raised. Sounds like Cajun red boudin. Pretty much. Pretty much. Mike says it was probably gator bait. <laughs> yeah, it was probably gator bait giving us that thumbs down. You know, I haven't heard from Gator Bay because I blocked her, your, her nice pain in my butt and all my friends. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Bye, okay, Gator next Bay. Camping Bye -bye. Topic. So, it? what do we got for the next topic, family? What are we talking about next? We are looking at 53 minutes and 12 people. Holy sugar. 12, 13 people in the room? Hot dog. I think that's a record. We got a drink to that, everybody. 13 people in the room. We are growing, family. Cheers to every one of you 13 people, even the producer, because she is counted as one person. So all 13 people on a Friday night, grab you a drink. I don't care if it's soda, Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pib. who cares? Pick it up. Cheers to every one of you 13 people. And then it goes to 11. And as I'm giving a cheers, two people leave. Wait, monkey go brain, uh, right said monkey brain was the worst thing I ever tried. Scarecrow's just cheers. Brother right, you had monkey brain too? It was weird, man. It's like, it's the weirdest thing you you will ever eat. It really is. It's not like, even when the texture is just not right. <laughs> Gelatinous. But, I mean, really guys, I've, I've eaten a lot of stuff. Between Boy Scouts, uh, survival training... Um, you know, just having my father be the father I was, my uncle who lives in Naples, which used to be, some bozo hit the thumbs down. um, Naples used to be a desolate swamp, basically, when my uncle bought the place, you know, when he first bought his, his 17 acres, uh, there was nothing and nobody out there, no electricity, none of that. So we got to, that's where I got to try armadillo and ostrich and rattlesnake and deer and gator and holy crap. Everything. All right, so drinking Coke here and don't do alcohol for 24 years. See, that's why I said that, brother. See? See? I got you, brother, right? But, hey, after hours, we, we know what's going on. We'll cheers after the, you know, after the live stream. Okay, buddy? 
says, sugar up, y'all. I'm already sweetened up. There you go, Swamp Donkey. Hey, you know, Mom asked about you, Swamp Donkey. She wanted to make sure that you've been popping in and, and checking in and all that stuff. But Mom says, says hi, by the way. Here she she had a lot of fun, and Mom says to tell Swamp Donkey hi. So, hi, Swamp Donkey from Mom. <laughs> Thunder Ridge says, Coke here, too. Coke here, too. A Coke and a smile. That's right. That's all you need in this life is a Coke and a smile. <laughs> Mike says hiking. Sending smoke signals. I see them, brother. I see them. I just, I can't smell them. I wish I could. Mike says hiking. Hiking. All right. Perfect. That's a good one. That's a good one. Boys and girls and little squirrels, we're moving on to the next topic of tonight, which is hiking. So, to go hiking. Hiking. Salt donkey says, hello, mama. Awesome, brother. She's going to appreciate that. I'm going to tell you you said hi, too. She's going she's gonna to think the world. Huh? If she's not even watching, she might be one of the 13 people. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so, hiking. Hiking for dummies. What do we need? Hiking for dummies. What does it take stick. to go out? A hiking A walking stick. That's a good one. That's me. I have one here in the corner. Or I use one What's sometimes. What's going on here? Four thumbs down. Who is doing that? I don't know. Seriously, people, you have nothing but four thumbs down. That means four people viewed it and did it, or whatever. Well, hey, you know what? If you don't like it, there's other channels. That's all I can tell you. You know, if you don't like what we're doing and you don't like the other stuff, there's 320,000 uploads per day to YouTube. You're more than welcome to go somewhere else. Okay, okay. But we I do try you. to have a good program here, and everyone in this chat room is pretty much family. So we're good. Four thumbs. If four people didn't like it, don't hate on them. You can't be mad that people don't like what we're doing. His smoke signs smell really good. Yeah, right. I see them. They're like uh, like SOS signals. Poof, 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 poof. What's going on? A backpack says Basser. Uh, yeah, so we got a backpack. Basser. What else do we need? Hiking we, boots. Some hiking boots. Got to have hiking boots. It doesn't have to be hiking boots. Let me stop that right here and right now. It has to be a comfortable pair of broken-in footwear that you're able to uh, go up, go down, go left. It might be a hill, it might be a downhill. They have to be comfortable footwear. I don't care if it's Crocs. I don't care whatever your favorite footwear is. If it's comfortable and it's all-terrain so that you don't slip and kill yourself, um, then yeah, sneakers, hiking boots, Crocs. Uh, I wear sandals. I don't wear shoes at all. Mike says gator baiting their friends with the thumbs down. You know, hey, hey, look, guys, don't even dwell on the thumbs down. Don't, because, you know, at least they watched. They gave me watch time. Who cares? Thunder Ridge says, I gave it a thumbs up after the greeting when I came in. <laughs> hey, man, and I'm telling you, that's how we do here Friday nights. Every single person on a Friday night, and any time to me, is very special. Because you could be watching 320,000 other videos per day that gets uploaded to YouTube. You're taking the time to be here with us. You're taking the time to stop in, which that right in itself is a challenge to get people to stop in. Um, so I feel that everybody on Fridays or on my live streams, or especially this Friday night live stream, needs to be honored. And you guys need to have cheers and praise and everything else because... I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. You could be doing other things on a Friday night. Right. I could, I could be chilling in my big-ass bathtub with my wife, having a Coke and a smile and, and being happy. Uh, me, but I choose to be here every Friday. Um, by the way, guys, you all did get praise for last week. I do want to tell you that. I spoke to my media rep this week, and she was says, uh, Infantry, I'm kind of glad to see the structure of the live stream a little bit better. Um She's like, I like that you're giving information. I like that you are getting people involved and that your live stream is growing because obviously I have a media rep for or a social media rep for this exact reason to tell me what to do to grow. Um, she was like, you know, at first I get why you did it because you're not making videos and you need the watch time. But it really was kind of like infantry's bar, like a bunch of buddies hanging out, just BSing. But there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, which there's nothing wrong with it. No, and I even told her, I said, let me tell you something. That's what Friday night is all about. If you don't like that, well, then click off. I, I, I told my social media, go ahead and click off if you don't like it. Because, again, there's 320,000 uploads per day, live streams included. Y'all are here. You clicked on me. Why? If you didn't like it, you wouldn't be here. And every week we're growing. So I'm doing something right. But we do want to structure it, and I do like... What do you guys think? you guys think this topic thing has been, been 
doing good? Do you like it? Do you want to go back to just bullshit and drink? Um, I mean, talk Jerry to says, me. says, be careful doing smoke signals when hiking. Judith says, good boots, insect spray, walking, stick, compass, map. Judith got that down. Judith, you must hike. You must be a hiker. Swamp Donkey says, some douche is doing that. Don't sweat it. VA Bastard says, practice. Tactical says, might rattlesnakes, shin guards. Mm. Uh, if you're in Florida, snake boots. I get a whole bunch more. Snake boots. Judas if says, you're hiking small, in Florida. emergency first aid and food. Right. Um, if you talk about the thumbs down, they win. Judith says, cell phone or radio walkie talkie. Okay. Judith, Swamp man. she. I'm, Judith, do you shire. hike? Judith has got, like, the list for us. Judith, says, she must be our hiker. We have a sh uh, wonderful community. Everybody supports each other. Yes, we do. Uh, Mike says, for me personally, it has to be waterproof steel-toed hiking boots to protect my feet and ankles. I can't do steel-toed on a hike, says, dude. I like this. Uh, Judith is a backcountry trapper. Oh, sweet. Well, so hiking. She hikes, right, traps. hiking and yeah, trapping, you, you really, it goes hand in hand. Unless you, like, you know, you're riding on a four-wheeler or going on a snowmobile. It really does go hand in hand. And Judith, man, I got to give you props on, on your info tonight, man. Really, thank you very much. That's really awesome. And when, when Judith, when I do go to trapping uh, or, or get to the point where I want to actually start, I hope you will be part with Coyote and Trapper J of my learning experience. And we'll give you, the, you know, all the credit in the videos. Like I do, you know, you hear me talk about Trapper J and I talk about Coyote. Um, if you guys, you know... That, like Rob said, we're this channel and the channels that you see in blue, um, and as I get to know the new folks in here and you become family members as well, you'll become moderators. The moderators in here, make sure you check out every person in blue. If you don't know who they are, check them out. I'm not telling you to hook up with them. I'm not telling you to marry them. I'm not telling you even to subscribe to them. What I'm telling you is at least check them out, okay? They're important people to me. They are blue for a reason. They handle all of my business across this whole thing here um and and i encourage you guys to at least watch the videos the ambassador says trail tent trail tent there you go that's another good thing um a trail tent for hiking well yeah yeah if you get stuck out there it's always good to have some kind of Peter shelter says me with bear hunting snake boots during the summer dog leads garmin collars to put on the dogs and dog box the list goes on and on holy cow and you know that's one thing i was telling my friend and for you guys watching, if you're this far into the video and you've gotten through all of these topics, okay, that we've discussed tonight, one important key feature will be, no matter what you choose, whether it's hiking, hunting, fishing, trapping, um, backcountry, skiing, snowboarding, whatever you get into, it's going to add up. Judah says if we help our sport, if we help grow our sport, if we don't help grow our sport, the antis win. Of course. And the biggest thing for me, being the handicapped person in the, in the family, is I want to be able to make this platform accessible for everyone. If you're, I don't, if you're in a wheelchair, if you're blind, if you've got one arm, no arms, six arms, I want you to be able to try these things. I want you, if you want to go fish, to go fish. Not only do I want you to go fish, I will take you fishing if I can manage it. If you can come to me, I'll take you fishing. If I can set you up with that shiner guy and call my buddy Rob and say, Rob, hey, listen, I got this person coming down. He's never fished and told Rob the scenario. Rob, will, you know, this is what it's all about. Um, if you have experience, and that's why I'm doing this platform in the live stream the way we're doing it, is for you guys to be able to shine show your expertise in your area of outdoors, and maybe, just maybe, you might get an email one day saying, hey, my name is DJ Infantry. I'm blind. But because of watching you and the things that you said in so-and-so's live stream, I went out and I tried it. I, now I've trapped six coyotes, two bears, and a donkey. <laughs> um, I'm only kidding. <laughs> But, so, okay, and speaking of dog, he says, I like BS and drinking, and I'll apologize to no one, but we'll cheers everyone. Beautiful, bro. And that, that's the good vibes, man. And that's what Friday, this Friday night stream is about. It's about good vibes. Outdoors and good vibes, you know? And there's I so says, much of the outdoors. I like it. Can't wait to be on with you. Oh, we're getting there. Rob, Rob, I need to... Um, no, Mike. No, Rob, Shiner oh, Guy. Okay. I need to call you 
when are you free this upcoming week that we, I can call you and not bother you and start having you show me stream, stream yards. Yeah, that's the one. Stream yards so I can panel and start doing that. When do you have some free time where we can one-on-one -on -one and you can show me the ropes? Um, because I would love here in the next few weeks, maybe we could start doing panels and have one of, start with one of y'all because I can't, I'll build up to that. But we'll have one guest every week. And we'll have that guest be the person on the topic, like Kyle or Judith. Um, we can have you guys come up and talk about your area of expertise for that week. I think that would be pretty freaking cool. Perhaps says it would take five minutes. It would, yeah, well, remember, you're teaching a blind guy, dude. Come on. It ain't going to take five minutes. It might take five minutes for you. <laughs> I do have it, though. I have it on my browser. I just don't know how to use it for spit. So, you know, that might be... Now, Rob, is that going to be something for the producer to do? Way outdoors. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rob, is that going to be something for the producer to do on her side or for me to do on my side, the stream yards and, and the interaction? What, would, what, in your opinion, because you use it, what do you think will be better for this broadcast to teach the producer how to do it? Or for me to do it on this side. Because then you're talking about seeing a lot more Willie of this. Outdoors says hi. Who? Um, Willie Outdoors. Willie Outdoors. We got to do a cheers, guys. I'm running. Oh, I'm going to need another one. Willie Outdoors. Happy Friday. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for supporting. Section I hope you hit the like button. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And I hope that you and your family stay safe, happy, and blessed. Cheers, brother. Oh, beer's backwards. Section 8. Okay, wait. Before I get to him, I need a new one. Okay. Uh, Section 8. Says, Don't go anywhere. I take some photos of my screen when I run my panel on Sunday night. Well, how about I just call you and me and you walk through it? Like, honestly. Well, 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 I'll tell you what. I'll call you tomorrow. If I get you, I get you. I don't and don't. Um, and I'll, I'll pick your brain. Because if it's, if it's something where the producer on the other side, it's easier for her to do that, then great. If not... Uh, Rob says it's super easy and you should both learn. It's really easy. Okay. Okay, okay your sponsor switched. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, no. I have to go to this? Really? Sorry. Not by choice. Oh, man. Again. It's not like it's bad or anything, but I'm already committed to two or three... Oh, what am I? Two or two. three? Can't, two. This is three. Okay, so, Section 8, brother. Happy Friday, man. Sorry I have not gotten a thing out to you. I promise you. It's going out on the 3rd or after the 3rd. I'm going to the post office. I have that transmitter for you, bro. I found it in the move. It's coming. But happy Friday. Bless your family, bro. God bless you and your family. I hope you all are happy, safe, and thank you so much for always coming in and supporting. Cheers, brother. Scarecrow says, do I need any special equipment to join a stream? To join a stream? No. Basically, the way it works is in the chat, me or the producer would drop a link right here. Wait, right, right there. Or we, yeah, and we, you click that link and it enables you to come on. Because I've been on that side of the coin plenty of times. All you got to do is click the link and boop, there you go. Same thing with Instagram Live, same thing with Facebook Live, all of that crap. You click the link and anybody can come up. Right, so I'll take anyone fishing, hunting, trapping, and camping. I'm a disabled veteran out there all by myself all the time. Hey, brother, I'm coming. We are we going to collab. Me, Kyle, well, I got a bunch of collabs coming up. I think December I'm going to Tactical Tech. Uh, January, February, I'm supposed to go to Manitoba. And then, I don't know, guys. It's like, whew. Yeah. Dude, it's going to be a lot of fun. After three or four of the good ones, they aren't bad. <laughs> the beers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, there's a big taste difference. Let me tell you something. Bud Light and Miller Light, big taste. This has more water, in my opinion. Like after drinking the Bud Lights, now I drink this. Says, How would you hear me? This has more of a sour taste, but more watery than the Bud Light. I mean, it's okay, but I'd rather be drinking Bud Light. <laughs> so, 
where did we leave off, family? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We were talking about hiking. Mm. So on hiking, I think this will be our last topic for tonight. Hiking, hiking. Let me see where we are. What hour are and ten minutes. I did fish with you. All right, strapping. Who did? Section A? Y'all went fishing? Oh, I'd, oh, I'd, fish, I'd fish with you. We'd all, fish uh, we'd all fish with everybody, man. Y'all come down to Florida, me and Shiner uh, guys. Willie's outdoors in Lakeland, Florida. Who? Willie outdoors. Willie, you're in Lakeland? That's awesome, dude. I'm way north of that. In Lake. I'm in Lake City. And then you got Shiner guy. He's around Orlando area. And then who else is in here that's from Florida? I don't think anybody else in it for tonight. Bob is drinking a Stella. Stella Artois. Yeah, that's good. That's good beer. There's nothing wrong with it. Cheers to you, Rob. Mom says light beer is shite. Yeah, it's shiza. It really is. But, Swamp Doggy, that's how I keep my girlish figure. All right? Got to look good when I'm on camera. Otherwise, I have that big bloaty belly. Remember, I told you I'm German. All right? Us German people, we get that big belly. All my fat in my entire body ends up on my freaking stomach. I ask my wife. I have no ass. I have no legs. I have no chest. I, I have arms, but they're not like huge. But all my weight is in my belly. And every man in my family has the same damn belly. Right. It's crazy. So we got some big chat here in Washington. Thunder says, I'm in North Carolina. Judith says, always tell a friend where you are and when to expect you back. There you go. That's a great, great, and always leave a plan. If you can, write it down. Leave a plan with somebody. Uh, when we go out on the boat, we call it a float plan. I leave a float plan for the wife. Where am I going to be? Where are you supposed to find me? What body of water? What boat ramp that I leave out of? When do I think I'm going to be back to the boat ramp? All of these things are important to know, irregardless. Like when I do my solo overnighters, the wife's going to drop me off. She's going to know where I'm going into the forest, even though you guys won't, and when I'll be back to meet her to pick me up the day or the day after, whatever I'm supposed to meet her. But she's going to know exactly whether it's the compass coordinates or the direction or the trail or the trailhead name. Something is going to be on that plan. So God forbid by 2 p.m. Sunday you don't find me at 3 p.m. Sunday you already know where to tell the rangers or whoever. He went down this trail. He was supposed to be here at this time. He was going to set up camp at this point. All of that stuff. Because you never know. Even if you're going out with five freaking friends, leave a plan. Because I can remember a boat leaving Port Everglades, a regular fishing boat with some stupid younger kids in it. And I only say this because they were all too young to be doing what they were trying to do. Well, they never made it back. All right? Float plans, outdoor plans, plan ahead. Very important. So, Judith, thumbs up to you. Section 8 says, I drink Miller really Light and my first drink always tastes like Fruit Loops. Laugh out loud. Really? Section 8, you drink this? Um, Cheers, Shiner brother. Guy said, it was absolutely Judith Davis important for boating, too. Swamp says, more kraut, less sugar. Yeah, so more crowd. Outdoors, if you take any meds, make sure you take an extra extra in case you get stuck up there. Correct. Very good. good and I like that because good a lot. Tip rights trapping. Uh, who was the one that said about the the medication? Right. Right. All right, brother. Right. You're on point here because again, viewers watching may be disabled, may need medication, may be on medication. So when you go out into the outdoors. Take more than you think you need because two is one, one is none. Got that, guys? Let's try this one more time. Two is one, one is none. So have a backup for the backup. Okay? Dave Basher says, I used to work the German uh, Lufthansa mm -hmm. airplane. <laughs> they like their beer warm. Yeah, I don't do warm beer. Mom says, planning ahead, good call. But whoever brought up sauerkraut, I have uh, a nasty sauerkraut recipe for you. Swam donkey. I, swam donkey, my brother. Listen, dude. I will mail you. I got to figure out how to mail you an overnight batch. <laughs> if you like sauerkraut, my family recipe will... If you don't like sauerkraut, I will make you like sauerkraut. 
all right? I can assure you of that. Every single person, when I make this, my father used to make it in five-pound batches. Five pounds. That and our, our family's potato salad was five pounds because one pound went to this house, one pound went to this house, the rest of the shit got eaten in that night. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. So, y'all, if you like kraut and that stuff, we could do a, we could do, I'm not giving out the recipe, but I could tell y'all some stuff, you know, or send it to you. Maybe I can mail it to you overnight. Nowadays, shit, who knows? The new race says shoe sauerkraut. Yeah, buddy. It ain't sour when I make it, though. I like the kraut. Oh, man, I'll give you a recipe. Well, I can't give you the recipe, but I have to send you something. You would die. Even people that don't like sauerkraut. I've given my Cuban friend sauerkraut the way we make it in our family. That Cuban begs for it every time I make it. Hey, dude, you going to make your dad sauerkraut? I want some. Okay. <laughs> it's off the chain. So, what else can we talk about? We talked about hiking. Is there? Are we done with hiking? Because we kind of started BSing at this point. And we are an hour and 16 minutes in. If any of you any of you watching on the replay made it an hour 16 minutes in you deserve a big thumbs up so thumbs up for me thumbs up from everybody in the chat thumbs up for everybody just that you made it an hour 16 minutes and cheers to all my peoples in the chat that have been with me for an hour and 16 minutes happy friday family don't forget that if you do like what you see here on infantry outdoors you can support the program via paypal paypal.me forward slash infantry outdoors it is linked down below along with our Patreon. You guys can become Patreons. Uh, if any of you fellow blue people are Patreons, hit the follow button. Let's follow each other and, and try to boost and do things on Patreon that way as well. Um, also, guys, don't forget Infantry Outdoors merch. Link below the t-shirts that we have out. Tell your mom I want to see her. I'm going to get approved here soon, I'm sure of. So once that shirt comes out, Mike's going to be getting one. Tactical tech I'm talking about. And uh, you guys will be able to pick those up as well. So, well, let's see. What else, what else, what else? Oh, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns outside of the broadcast, feel free to write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. If you are not part of the family, well, there's a button that says subscribe. Hit that and, well, you'll become part of the family. Right. Um, yes. Now, I'm going to be getting videos out to you guys. I promise. This week, I'm going to make a video. I keep saying that, but life keeps happening. It's really getting on my nerves. So I'm going to make it a point to try to get one video done this week. Next week, two videos. So we're going to get back on that two-video grind, whereas Tuesdays will be, um, I'm sorry, Wednesdays will be product reviews, and Fridays will be the show with the Friday night live stream. So I'm hoping to get back on that grind. I really hope. So next week, we're going to push for Friday morning, 6 a.m., is my normal post time. I hope that all of you guys can check out the video. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think what I'm going to do is grab my boys. And me and the boys, we're going to take you down to the pond. We're going to show you a little bit of the property. Do the first up north video type of thing. And go hit the pond. See if we catch anything for you guys. Right. So, so. years ago, while deer hunting, I fell down a 100-foot ravine. And it took me eight hours to get out. And someone probably passed out in the road. At least you made it out, bro. Thank God that my brother Coyote made it up. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here today with me. Uh, Judith says, you have a new supporter here. I love the channel. Thank you, Judith. We love you. And you never know. You might be, you know, you said you're you're a trapper and everything, just like my brother Coyote over here. Um, my whole goal with this 2021 year, depending on how the world happens, is to be able to come out to you guys. I want to travel. I want to come out to Coyote. I want to come out to Tactical Tech. I want to come up and see Swamp Donkey. I want to travel and do you guys for a while. You know what I'm saying? I want to do other stuff. Hence the ice fishing. Hence the bear hunting. Hence the whatever the hell I can get into with you guys. It I doesn't matter. I Judith, I want to come trap with you. I want to learn to trap on your line. That would be a cool video, right? Thunder Ridge says, I want to kill a hog. Rob says, tell your mama I'm looking for her. <laughs> I tell your Scarecrow mama I'm looking for her. says, you don't check your email. I do. I do. I check it every day, actually. I haven't seen anything from it. Right, says, I also want to get a hog at Thunder Ridge. But 
Wait, what, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking of something. What was the last thing you did send me? Oh, was your wife? Trapper Jay's here. No way. Yeah. No freaking yes. way. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Hey, hey, Jay. No lie, dude. The, hey, the biggest cheers in the... Oh, I got it. I can't even talk. I was talking about you earlier tonight. I praised you tonight in my chat. In my video, in my stream, and I, you know what? I'm gonna do this straight to your face personally. Thank you. Uh, first, let me welcome you the proper way on a Friday night live. See, I can't even do this, bro. I, I'm amazed. Happy Friday, Trapper J. Thank you for coming into my live stream. I hope that you and your family are blessed. I hope you're safe. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Thank you for your support, brother, and thank you for being you. Cheers. Scarecrow says my log boat. He says he said you too. Yes. Yes. Hold on. We're going to get to your wife. Hold on. <laughs> We're going to get to your wife. Trapper J, bro. Swear to God. He I'm blown away. I appreciate that, man. Hey, listen. I was, I was commending you. He on... says I was just going live myself and seen, and seen you on. Awesome, bro. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, I was commending you tonight about how um, you and I have discussed. I finally moved up north, by the way. I'm in North Florida. We're in live in North Florida. I'm up in between... Tallahassee and Jacksonville in Lake City. Um, I was praising you tonight because our discussions of trapping and you taking the time as a YouTuber, as a person, to talk to me about how to trap and just the stuff we talked about. Oh, I got, oh, I got, ah, I just touched my eye and I have jalapeno juice on my hand or something. Oh, you ready? Oh, my God. Guys, I got delivered today. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I got a whole bunch of food delivered, so I had to process it. And I guess I still have jalapeno on my hand. Oh my god, my eye is on fire. Whoa. Ah, I love jalapeno. It's just not winter in my eyes. Um, Jay, I was praising you, bro, that you took the time to talk to me and just interact with trapping and, and my curiosity and your knowledge. Um... So, yeah, I got to praise you tonight, dude. Thank you for coming in, man. It's just like a stellar night to have you here. Really, Thunder really Ridge thank you. has to go, but he said thank you so much for being you, and have a blessed night, brother. If thank you, bro. Smile. I hope to see you next next Friday, 10 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Um, you're leaving early, so you won't know what the topic is for next week. Just be prepared. It will be something outdoors related, <laughs> like it was tonight. But Trapper J, dude, I'm up here in North Florida. I can't wait. We got to talk traps. I got you. Uh, I don't know if you know Coyote from Wright's Trapping. And you also have Judith. Are you still here? Judith is a backwoods trapper. Um, and we did a whole little segment on trapping tonight. Since we go to Destin every year, hopefully I can collab with you sometime. Hey, bro, we're, anytime. Hey, let, let me tell you something. You, you are welcome in this house anytime. This is part of the reason I got this big, giant place is so that I can have close YouTube. I wish I could make you blue right now, but I don't have my computer. You would definitely be a mod. I'll go back and do it later. Um, all of my mods are always welcome. You can come stay at my house. Uh, if you have an RV, I do live on 20 acres, so you can park your RV. Um, we have a one-acre pond. But, Jay, I definitely, definitely need... We, we got a one-on-one -on -one about trapping in Florida. I really want to try it. Um, just for the fun of it, you know what I'm saying? Well, I've watched you. I've watched what you try, what you have taught Andrew Flair, and it's <laughs> I want to I want to give it a try. You know, it's like the perfect thing for a blind guy. I don't have to shoot it, but I just got to go check the traps every day. It can't get any better. So, yeah, man. If you guys don't know Trapper Jay, you're living in a box. Check him out. Click his link. If one of my mods can drop Jay's link, please do that. Give Jay some some props in the, in the chat. Can a mod make somebody a moderator on your channel? I don't know. Can a mod make a person a mod? I don't think so. I don't believe so, but if somebody can answer that... Maybe it's a good question. No. Jay, what have y'all been doing? I heard you were out fishing. With alleged fishing. Yeah, with alleged fishing. Is that what was going on? Trapper Jay says it's a blast for sure. What did y'all go for? What were you Mike fishing was for? asking how they did today. Judith and Trapper Jay are very knowledgeable. knowledgeable. 
Yeah, no, Chopper J is the man. I, I give Chopper J. Judith, we're Chopper just Jay meeting, like... but I'm sure that Judith, I'm gonna is gonna be my other buddy, just like Chopper J and Brother Wright. You Judith know, you can't forget Kyle. Your eggs in Florida, it may be a cage trap state. Okay, I will do that. Bow fishing, fly, dude. Did you get it? Did you hit one? Tell me you hit one. I'm waiting to see somebody hit one in the air. That looks like a hell of a good time. Bow fishing Asian carp as they jump out the water. That's freaking awesome, man. I watched Flair do it the other day, and I was just like, oh, and some of those are close enough where I can see them now, so I can come try that too now. The blind dude will be put, put the blind guy on some flying Asian carp. We don't have those in Florida. But put the blind guy on some, ah, hit me a damn carp. Ah, at least Steve I'll try. says Judith is a beast trapping beaver. Ju hey. I want to try beaver. I really do. I hear it's really good. Um, and I know y'all are going to, Jay and everybody's going to blow it up now going, oh yeah, try it. Be beaver's great. I've never tried it and I would love to try it. Rob once. says the use of steel long, uh, leg hold traps, dog proof raccoon traps, and body grip or cona bear traps are prohibited except when permitted by FWC. Holy cow. And he says that it's illegal to transport wild trapped live raccoons within, into, or from the state except by the FWC permit or authorization. I ain't going to transport nothing. I mean, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm going to take it from there to my house, to trap it to my house. So what does that mean? I can't do that? I'm confused. Well, you can't trap them live. You can't transport them live. Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that anyway. If something got in the trap, I'm going to put it down right then and there. I'm not going to mess with no. Y'all ever seen a nasty-ass raccoon when they're mad? No, thank you. No, I thank you. the outdoors. That's who Chopper J was with, and he's here now. Uh, oh, holy cow. That is awesome, dude. Allegedly outdoors. Welcome to Infantry Outdoors. Welcome to the Friday Night Live stream. Thank you for coming in. It means the world that you and Trapper J are here tonight. Um, I hope that you and your family are safe. I hope that you're blessed. And I hope you have an awesome weekend. Cheers. CP says Trapper J is the best recipe for beaver. Uh, Trapper says got six out of the air today. It was my first time trying. Really? That's freaking awesome. Dude. You got to be like a sniper because Andrew couldn't hit him for nothing. <laughs> I think he, he hit one and it bounced off. And he hit another, or grazed another one. I don't know Shiner if he ever hit one. It says box trap, only it sounds like Trapper J says Florida trapping regs suck. I believe it. Uh, but I still want to try it. Uh, coyote's back. I still want to try it. Because I think... Uh, Trapper J says beaver is better than a steak. I want to try it. I definitely want to try it. I definitely want to try it. I definitely want to try it. Is it a red meat? I don't know. Can, it, can any of you mail me beaver meat? I know as crazy as it, like, stupid it is in my head to even ask this. Jay, can you send me beaver meat? Can you mail it to me to try it? Uh, Kyle? He says Bonzo is better at bow fishing. Bonzo is, is, is the, bro, he's a freaking marksman. If y'all haven't paid attention to Bonzo or Banjo, now he's now called, <laughs> Bonzo, Bon's daddy, he's a flipping marksman. If y'all don't know about Bonzo, you're sleeping. But, um. I would like to come do it just so I can simply have the title say Blind Guy Snipes Flying Asian Carp. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, I got some of the coolest video titles just because I'm blind and you're not, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about your luck. You're not blind. Nah, 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 nah. You can't be blind. <laughs> Easy now. I'm just kidding. But seriously, I mean, I got some cool titles just by playing. Banjo, Gonzo, Bonds, Daddy. Yeah, he's got so many names. Judith like, says you can make beaver jerky. You could probably ship beaver jerky. I would, if you could ship it, I'll pay. I'll send you the shipping. You just give me your cash app or PayPal or however you want to do it. I'm happy to pay y'all, like, for shipping and stuff. I don't know if it can be done. I, I've never done it. I would love to try some beaver. And uh, However you can send it, whether it's in meat. You know, you send it frozen, just let me know how to cook it. Like, call me on the phone and say, don't don't send it or not. I don't want your recipe. But tell me how to cook it, at least. Because <laughs> I wouldn't do that to y'all. I could send you some iguana, but I'm going to tell you how to cook it. I can't send you iguana now because we don't have them here. But I can get it with one phone call. So if y'all ever want to try iguana, maybe, I don't know if I can mail it to you or not. But I can find out. So, 
Yeah, beaver though. Beaver, beaver, beaver meat. I hear good things about beaver meat. Oh, oh Trapper J and allegedly, allegedly outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for the raid. Paid it forward here with infantry outdoors. Yes, you did, and thank you very, 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 very much. Because how ironic is it that we were talking about Trapper J tonight, and I was thanking him without him knowing it for taking the time to, you know, to enlighten this blind guy, man. You know, I really do appreciate that. Judas says crock pot or grill. Crock pot or grill. Ooh. So that means it's tender. It's a tender piece of meat. Because the only way you crock pot it. Well, is it tough? Do I have to, like, marinate it? Now that you said crock pot or grill, it could go either way. Is it a tough meat or is it soft meat when you cook it? <laughs> right, so I saw a video of a blind lady shooting a bow. She used a bell to let her know where the target is as biker with bell rides by. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that would be uh, epic. Section 8 to duty says, I heard Nutri is very delicious. That's another one. Nutria rat. Yeah, Nutria rat. Now, I think, does anybody know, is there Nutria rat in she Florida? She said, cut it with plastic fork. Exactly. See, Judith, we got to hang out. Look. Somebody needs to stand infantry some beaver. No, we just need to go get it ourselves. Or we, I don't know, do we have, yeah, we have beaver here. No, probably not. Yeah, we're there's be somebody tell me there's beaver in North Florida. There's got to be. There's freaking creeks and rivers up here. So there's got to be beavers. <laughs> Swamp says I had an edible. I'm getting goofed up now. He did what? Oh, Swamp Donkey. I'm bro. jealous. I'm jealous of you, bro. I'm jealous. Scared you know, when that you that make that those, that those, those, see now those trees, y'all Jay says, yeah. Yeah? Beaver here? Oh, Jay, 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 Jay. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually, uh, Trapper Jay, send me an email with your phone number so we can link up <laughs> off right of here. For, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Send me, e I'm going to send, give you my email address right now. Or better still, one of my mods put up the email, infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Trapper J, if you don't mind, bro, send me an email with your number. Then I can call you whenever. And I want to do that. So you can tell me, help me out with that. What kind of traps, where to look. Um, I'll give you my area. We'll see if we can figure out where I should go. Because I've got the Suwannee River. It's like 20 minutes from me. Um, I have a bunch of springs. I don't know where they would even be. So that would be awesome, dude, if you could help me out. Trapper Jason's message him on Facebook. Okay. Okay. I think I have you on Facebook. If not, like I say, drop drop the link either way so you have it. Um, one of the mods, please. Infantry Outdoors at Yahoo.com. Um, I think I have you on Facebook. If not, I have you. Are you. Aren't you on Instagram too? I think we're on Instagram. I don't remember. I know I have you pretty much everywhere. <laughs> I just don't remember where. Because me and Trapper J, we've been chatting for a minute now, you know? Right, it says I got seven beavers this year, four-legged ones. That's awesome. See, I want to be able to do this. Yeah, four-legged yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think your wife don't count, Trap, uh, the brother Kyle. You can't count your no, wife. No, he's not. Because you didn't catch her this year. There's two-legged ones, there's four-legged ones. Yeah. But I'm excited for this year, guys. I'm excited to be up here. I'm excited to be able to uh, try to travel. I do want to come hang out with you guys. Um, I do want to film with you guys. Like I said, everybody that I work with, everybody we collab, you're going to go on the Wall of Fame here in the house. Um, so when you get to come and visit, you'll be able to see things like Flo the Bear. You'll be able to see your pictures, you know, other YouTubers' pictures that I've gotten to work with. And that's what I wanted to, to, to be all about, you know what I'm saying? What is your favorite, what, what is your favorite beaver? <laughs> the one that's shaven. Uh, married her 28 years ago. Nice, brother right, brother right. I'm not far behind you. <laughs> We're getting there. But, um, yeah, my favorite beaver usually is the shaven kind. <laughs> but, yeah, no, a lot of things up here by moving to North Florida. Um, trapping is one of them. Having area to hunt, things to hunt, different fishing, 
this is all stuff that God willing will be possible here in the new future. Plus, like I said, being able to travel, coming to see you guys, having you guys come travel here uh, and taking you to the places that, that I'm going to get to discover. That's what it's going to be all about for sure. Uh, Trap J. Oh, hey, man, I don't want to go live on top of you, but it's getting late, man. I got to go live. Hope you understand. No worries, brother. Not send everybody over to you once I close, but I got to run after this commercial message from our sponsor. Do, 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 do. doing the Jeopardy theme song, Swap Talk, he goes, Jeopardy! This is Jeopardy, with your host, Alex Trebek. Fred says, oh no, now he's gone. <laughs> no, I'm he back. said, theme song is Jeopardy. That's it. That's Gotta love that. How you doing? So yeah, we're, we're going to do, guys, when we bounce out of here, we're going to jump over to Trapper J. Everybody hit that hashtag infantry raid for me if you don't mind. Uh, but we'll do that once we wrap up. But before we do wrap up, let me see where we're at here. Holy crap, we're almost at two hours. Um, what do we want to talk about next week? What, for those that are left, how many do I got left? I have 11 people. Holy shit, we got 11 people left in here. Um, what do we want to talk about next week? Let's pick an outdoor topic that we can all agree on. And then e everybody in the room can do homework and bring up things you might want to know. Or things that you do know about said topic. Fishing. Fishing, okay. Camping. Camping. We all have to agree on it now. That's the thing. We got camping, we got fishing. Now last, practice. Last week we did outdoor cooking. This week, how to get outdoors. So let's kind of keep on going with that. Now we got Fine. camping, fishing. Cooking on open fire. Cooking on open fire. Some Flying. That shiner guy, good crew tonight. I will be here no matter what. I know you, Rob, bro. You know that's why you're blue, bro. Your family. <laughs> I know you're gonna be here. I never have to and question. The only that. one we missed tonight was Flo. Yeah, Flo's like the only family member missing tonight, I think. But um, so really, like, help me out. What should we talk about? Because I need to do my homework through the week, Section just like you guys do. Same as Shiner, but we got to pick something as a group. <laughs> Come on, guys. I know you don't give a damn what we talk about, but we got to talk about Me something too. other than what's going on in this world. And by the way, for y'all, those down south, hurricane, whatever the hell. Yeah, it's actually, it says Broward and Miami Dater in our travel storm morning. See, I'm glad I left. The coronavirus is going nuts over there, and they're hurricane about to get a freaking hurricane. So. I'm good on moving. Jeffrey <laughs> says spin, spin a wheel. Spin a wheel. Oh, I'm going to get one of those. I have I'm one. I'm, problem is, it's on here. Give me your... Oh, you're on the damn live stream, too. Where's my tablet? That's a great idea. Okay, well, not now. Do it later. No, we're going to spin the wheel live for the people. Oh. Right says we still get right. Yeah, hey, Brother Wright, what's going on with y'all over there? Is everything, like, calming down, spin down? Wright says the Me Too movement is over here. What? Black Elevator, what? No, the Me Too? What is um, the Me Too movement? Yeah. Swamp says, who's been in a float parade? Who's been in a float parade? Plane. 
Oh, flow plane? No, never. I want to. I think those are the coolest airplanes in the world. But I mind you, I've lived in Florida my whole life. We're like mostly water. So a float plane <laughs> just makes more sense. All right. What do we want? We want to spin the wheel. What about the motor? Hold on. The boat motor I should buy. Wheel of the Fortune. Scarecrow. Or no, not Wheel of Fortune. What the hell is it called? I don't know what the hell you're even talking about. I'm trying to get the wheel. Hold on. Just shh for one second. What about the boat motor I should buy? Okay. Well, next time that I tell you to shh, shh, because now it's searching for what type of boat motor I should buy. <laughs> now, be quiet so I can find this stupid <laughs> wheel. Wheel. I have it on my phone. Oh, here it is. Spin the wheel. Boom. Random picker. That's what we want. <laughs> Don't pick your nose. Pick so a winner. Talk about gun control. The tighter your group, better your gun control. The tighter your group, better. Yeah, if we're talking about buying boat motors, have you seen Yamaha pop up? Boop! Yamaha. Um, yeah, Yamaha. I normally would tell you Evan Rood, but they went out of business. That's my motor choice. Always has been, and I wish to God it always will be. Um, I love an Evan Rude. Pew, pew control is hitting your target. Yeah, please don't use the G word in, in here, guys. Remember, we're trying to keep it on pew Scarecrow pew. Scarecrow says, I made a log boat. I bet you made a log boat, Scarecrow. Yeah, no, he did. That's awesome. No, he really did. And his wife, his wife was ready to go for a ride on it with that G string. Hey, and you know what's crazy? That's that I... other guy says, crazy about it, Mercury. <laughs> um, you, you know what I noticed about your wife on that, that stick boat? Is I noticed your wife was wearing a Jamaican thong. So, yeah, I'm on everything I rewrite. No worries when she ride pon the raft. Pon the river. Pon the boat. Pon the bunk. If you pick your nose, pick a winner, says Judith. Hey, Mom, what's for dinner? Go up your nose and pick a winner. All right. Spin the wheel. Random nose picker. All right, how does this work? Because <laughs> I was told I can pick my nose, but I can't pick the brains. Okay, how do you use? We want to edit. We want to click the gear icon to edit the wheel, okay? Then we want to create a new custom wheel by clicking the... Ah, oh, this is... Swam Dunk says, Yami is Iriman. Yaman, everything bless Ron. Everything Iriman. Mind you guys, I work for a Jamaican radio station 16 years. I am an honorary son of Trinidad and Tobago as well as Jamaica, Guyana, and the West Indies. So, what do we want to do? Afternoon activity? No. Uh, what to eat? No. Yes or no? No. Okay, so I guess we're going to go with something along the lines of what to eat. And then I need to customize it. So, here we go. Let's see. I want to... How do we do this? There we go. Rick says, you started to say something about my new video with infantry outdoors. Says Rex. What were you saying about Rex's video? What was I saying about Rex's video? I don't know. I don't know. You started to say something about my new video. I might behind on be behind on a new video, too, because... Um, what do you call it? The last one I seen, I believe, was the one where you shot that coyote. But, brother, right, you're a mod, so feel free to post your new video link right up here, buddy. Oh, when Trapper J came in. Okay, here we go, new. All right, we want to make, uh, let's make a light and dark, colorful dark. Uh, holy crap, why are you giving me so many options? Yes or no wheel, quick wheel, bulk, blah, 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 blah. A new wheel, empty. Let's go with a new empty wheel. And we're going to add... Do, 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 do. How do we do this? Text? No. Nope. Option repeat. Spin time. Da, 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 medium. He, he was talking add. about the new video that he got the wife to be in and help. Oh, yes. I did see where you took your wife. Yes. Post the link. Put the link in here. Put the link in the video. All right, so option number one. Let's see. We are going to make it. Do, 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 do. Optional text edit. So the first topic we're going to put in. Camping. 
Option tech. Yeah, we're getting there. Do -do 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 -do. Gotta figure out where you're supposed to type. Background. Text color. Let's make all text color white. Do -do 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 -do. And then once I have this set, we won't have to do this no more. Strawberry jam. Strawberry jammy jam. Hey, that's my favorite. Well, don't forget that Chopper's doing his. We got some other things. Yeah, no, we're going to go. Don't worry. We're all going to go I over to Driver Day. Day. The wife needs to chillax. Have a Coke and a smile. Okay, so. Da -da 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 -da. A spin. Come on. Well, you got to give me like a place to type here. Here we go. Edit. That's what I want. Come on. Optional text. Why is none of this stuff easy for blind people? Come on now. Oh, here we go. Okay, so camping. A M P I N G. Camp. C A M P. Yes, what is that? Camping. Okay, so we got camping. What's another Fishing. one? Fishing. All right. I'm getting hanging this now. F I S H I N G. What other topics we want to talk about for next week? Let's go. Cooking. Cooking, yep. We got add. C O O K I N G. Booyah. Cooking. Mm -hmm. Do bushcraft again. We'll put bushcraft. Come on, guys. Pop it up in here. I'm putting it on the wheel. B U S H C R A F T. Oops. T. Bushcraft. Yep. Booyah. Nobody popping nothing up. Come on, guys. What are we going to. What are our topics? We got seven people in here. I should get seven topics. So we've got camping, fishing, cooking, bushcraft. What else can we talk about? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Fire Come on, people. Put it in the chat. I want to see what we're going to talk about. Hellfire. <laughs> Hellfire and brimstone. Strawberry tart and soda. Strawberry tart and soda. Mm. It doesn't smell like. But it doesn't smell like. Hellfire, laugh out loud. <laughs> Come on, we need some more topics, guys. Uh, what else can we talk about? What else can we talk about? What else can we talk about? How, how about hiking? We talked about hiking tonight, but we can talk about hiking again. Mm -hmm. so let's Not go. just cooking, but on open fire cooking. Says right. Yes, it will be outdoor cooking. It won't be... Just cooking. I'm not going to teach you how to, how to make, like, a, you know, crazy stuff. Hiking. Okay. Anybody else got anything else? If not, we'll go with one, two, three, four, five topics and spin the wheel. Did that link work right? Yes, it worked. I just clicked on it. Okay. Uh, how about trapping? Trapping. We were talking about trapping. We got to put trapping on there because Brother Wright ran away. Okay. We got trapping. Yeah, we're down to six now. Yeah, his link works. All right, fantastic. Um, anything else before we hit this? Come on, guys. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Hunting. Okay. Hunting. How about wrenching? How about hunching? <laughs> Anybody know the art of hunching? Or to hunch? <laughs> so we got hunting, trapping, hiking, bushcraft, cooking, fishing, and camping. Anything else we want to put in there before I spin this wheel and make a decision for everybody in the room based upon this thing? I think I got it all. I think we're pretty good. Now, how do I save it? Oh, I can spin up there. Okay. But what if I want to save it? I'm going to save it and use it later. 
Enter wheel title. There we go. Wunderbar. Friday stream topics. topics. Wunderbar. So, yeah. Now, how do we save it so we keep it? That's how I share it. Option. Uh, da -da, add a new one. I think we're good. All right. So, here we go. Do we want a medium spin? Maybe we should go no, a long spin. Let's go medium. Yeah, we'll leave it at medium. All right. So, here we go, guys. Next week's topic is going to be spin the wheel. Come on. All right. Here we go, ready? Everybody can see it? There we go. Here we go. And hunting. Hunting. So next week's topic, guys, is going to be the art of hunting. Whether it's passive hunting, whether it is non-passive hunting, whether what kind of hunting do you guys do and what do you hunt for? So for the seven people left in here, before we wrap up tonight, next week's topic will be on hunting. So you guys do your homework. You know what you want to talk about. You know where to be 10 p.m. here on YouTube. And, uh, yeah. So with that said, guys, we're going to wrap up. We're going to get up. We're going to get out. It's been a long night. Over to Trapper Jays. We are heading over to Trapper Jays. It's an hour and 15 minutes on my stream. Deer season starts October here. Us too, brother, right? If I understand, if I know my, if I'm correct, November, or uh, I think ours is November. But, save it for next week. Next week's topic will be on hunting. So, family, I invite you guys to always watch, always subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. And thank you for everybody for being part of Friday Night Live Stream. Um, what? Trapper put up, or uh, what's it, uh, Shiner guy put up Trapper's. Perfect, because I'm clicking on that in about two seconds. So, um, guys, thank you again. Trapper J's live stream link is here. Thank you, Rob, for putting that up there, because I'm going to use that myself. Uh, so, on behalf of myself and the producer, thank you guys for watching. I hope that this and all of our adventures and all of our live streams inspires you to get outdoors. I hope you guys all have an amazing day wherever you are around the world. God bless each and every one of you, and thank you so much for being here. We'll see you again next Friday night where our topic will be on hunting. At this time, guys, we're all going to run over to Trapper J's live stream. Don't forget, hashtag Infantry Raid. See you over there, family. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys.